Between Brazil and Paraguay, the mighty Parana River once seemed untamable, eternal in its strength and free in its course. But a few decades ago, humankind decided to dance with it. From that dance, the Itaipu Dam was born, a marvel of engineering that blends poetry and architecture with water and electricity, dreams with reality. Itaipu is not just a dam, it's a bold declaration of humanity in the face of nature's vastness. It stands as a point where two nations meet, a physical and poetic metaphor of cooperation and strength. At first glance, it may seem like just a massive wall of concrete, but if you listen closely, there's a rhythm to it, a hum that comes from turbines spinning and water rushing. It's the sound of an entire region being powered, of a colossal force being transformed into something useful, almost tender. Built between 1974 and 1984, the dam is a monument to collaboration and ingenuity. Thousands of workers, engineers, and visionaries took on the colossal task of temporarily diverting the course of the Paraná, one of the most voluminous rivers in the world. Raising its 196-meter-high structure and stretching nearly 8 kilometers demanded not only tons of concrete, but tons of courage. It wasn't just a technical challenge, it was an emotional one. Locals watched with a mix of pride and sorrow as the landscape transformed forever. Entire communities were relocated, ecosystems reshaped. The cost of progress was high, but so was the promise of light, power, and opportunity. Itaipu is a living symbol of international cooperation, strategically located on the border between Brazil and Paraguay. Jointly managed by both nations, it represents an alliance in which two cultures and economies share energy, strengthen diplomatic ties, and demonstrate how engineering can rise above political boundaries. Here, the Parana doesn't divide. It unites, reflecting a brotherhood between nations. Imagine it for a moment as a giant water harp. Each gate is a string, and the water, the hand that plucks them. As it flows through the turbines, each drop becomes electricity, pure energy lighting up millions of homes. The dam generates more power than some entire countries, enough to electrify entire cities like Sao Paulo or Buenos Aires. Seen from a distance, the dam resembles a sculpture carved in concrete. But up close, it's a breathing giant. Its 20 massive turbines, precise as Swiss watches, spin constantly, converting liquid force into electric power. It's a synchronized choreography where every part plays a vital role. Every visit to the dam offers something new, different sounds, changing water levels, shifting light across its massive walls. School groups visit to learn about sustainability. Engineers visit to admire the precision, and poets visit to witness how something so technical can still stir the soul. An extra layer of wonder lies in how the dam interacts with its surroundings. The reservoir created by a Taipu spans a vast area, altering landscapes and creating opportunities for irrigation, fishing, and transport. Yet with great change comes responsibility. And here, engineers sought not just to build, but to preserve. When water rushes through its channels, it produces a hypnotic sound, a powerful melody reminding visitors of the river's once unbridled might. Standing beside the dam, awe is inevitable. Such a vast, robust structure, capable of holding back an ocean of water, feels as though it was lifted from legend. During its construction, workers came from across the continent. Tales spread among them. Some said the river would never surrender. Others claimed they heard mysterious voices from the water at night. But with each ton of concrete laid, the Parana slowly yielded, as if recognizing the brilliance of human intention. A little known fact is that the amount of concrete used could build several replicas of Rio de Janeiro's Christ the Redeemer. It's as if Itaipu carries within its core other monuments, hidden, silent, waiting to be discovered in its walls. But the dam does more than generate power, it also protects its surrounding environment through unique conservation initiatives. Around it, nature reserves flourish, housing thousands of species, and creating a balance between human power and the natural world. Itaipu isn't just a barrier, it's an ecosystem, a tangible proof that development and nature can coexist in harmony. Each sunset, flocks of birds fly over the dam as if they know this is a place where nature and progress meet daily in reconciliation. Visitors stand at scenic overlooks, astonished by how something so monumental can also feel so alive, so integrated with its environment. The Itaipu Dam is more than an engineering feat, it is an epic poem written in concrete and water a place where technology and nature have joined hands to create something powerful, and also something beautiful. When you visit, you feel it clearly. Itaipu doesn't just turn water into energy. It turns dreams into reality, borders into bridges, and challenges into opportunities for the future. Because in the end, that is Itaipu, a place where the Parana has finally learned to sing.